as you'll see my house behind me here, uh, um, it may not look as damaged as, as other homes. And uh, it, that's probably because of the reason that it was built with steel I-beams. It was built to withstand 148 mile an hour winds. And I think that's the only reason it's here because you, you could see the day after the storm, uh, uh, when I came to the house, you could see a clear path that started over there, came across, hit the house, and then went on to the neighborhood behind me here. And the homes over that way, which were substantial homes as well, they're just gone. They just were uh, just absolutely decimated by the storm. So I'm pretty lucky that I still have a home here. I mean, it, it's been hard. You know, I live in a trailer next to the house. Um, tra you know, it's a travel trailer that's meant to be lived in for a weekend. Um, I've been in it since October 13th with my husband and three dogs, two of which are 100 pound each and think they're lap dogs. So um, the struggle is real down here. The struggle is, uh, um, it's pretty uh, um, intense to go through a rebuild like this. We kind of feel here in Big Pine that uh, we're a small little we're a small little part of the Florida Keys, and we're a little island. And uh, Puerto Rico uh, also got, got hit by Maria after us, and uh, they deserve the attention that they're getting. But we we kind of feel like here we're not getting the attention we should be getting to rebuild. Same thing with Houston got hit just before us. Then we got hit. Then Maria hit. And um, there's no reason for the government not to be able to take care of. Uh, all of the problems that go on in this country. We have the money, we could do it.